Hello, this is South Ribble Labour's first video game video, and quite appropriately, we're playing Democracy Free. So, hopefully, we can use this to outline some of the policies that we as a Labour Party have for the future of Britain. So, we are, of course, going to play as. It is on this list. The Labour Party against the Conservatives. And I think all of these other settings should be okay, so I think let's get started. So this is a game where you enact certain policies to try and improve the state of your country. So this is obviously a very good way of showing some of the <coughs> we c there's some of the Labour's policies for the future of Britain so if we look at some of the red ones are obviously our problems well ov not that obviously if you don't know the game but here we have homelessness which is obviously I keep saying obviously I'm not gonna say obviously again a problem we have in Britain not so much homelessness perhaps but certainly houselessness which I suppose is the same as homelessness where places in inner city areas particularly London have a way overpriced housing problem so people struggle to get homes so hopefully we'll be able to see some policies that Labour would do to try and improve that alcoholism certainly a problem ghettos organized crime, various crime problems, vigilante mobs and street crime and of course obviously something that we're paying a lot more attention to in the Labour Party as of late the environment which of course causes things like asthma because of all the air quality problems of course in London, I don't know why I keep using London as an example, it's because I've been watching the London debates for um, London Mayor the air quality is below the legal standard so, yeah, so this is, hopefully it'll be quite sort of representative of problems we have in actual Britain. Uncompetitive economy. I think that's probably a problem we have in Britain. And a technological backwater. Now, of course, during the Labour leadership election, Yvette Cooper was advocating we spend 3% of our GDP on science funding, which I thought was a very good idea, considering we spend 2% of our GDP on weapons but we won't get too far into that one. Um, so, what problem should we deal with first? So, I, as Prime Minister, just starting my new term, I've been got these list of problems, which one shall I deal with first? Well, I think the first thing we should do is raise communities policing up to the very max it can be, which would help to deal with a number of these issues on this hand side, this left hand side. And, I'm going to try and do a couple of policies right off the bat to get rid of our alcohol abuse problem because that will slow down our productivity and of course, like in real life Britain, we have a productivity problem. So there's two ways you can go about solving your alcohol problem, two main ways. Raising the tax, which we're definitely going to do, just adjusting the mic. Tax is down here and we're definitely going to raise the tax. 75% tax on alcohol, I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, unfortunately, a lot of pubs are going to close, which is very sad. I don't know if that's sad, if that's sad really. I mean, I suppose you could become dry pubs, which would probably be better, really. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people don't actually go into pubs for the alcohol. They're going for the atmosphere, and you could have a gastro pub. I don't know, I'm rambling now. And also, to balance out, because if you look, I've increased... Oh, no. oh yeah, it does increase poverty, because obviously you're taxing alcohol, it's sort of regressive, it's not great if you're poor, so we need to do a welfare policy to sort of balance that out, so I'm going to add food stamps, which I think is a very good idea, in real life and in this game, and we're also going to have an alcohol awareness campaign, which I think is a good idea. Homelessness, I think we should probably do something to do this one out, and you can... E this is obviously quite a controversial thing to do, is raise unemployment benefit. 
because no one who has a job, well, I say no one, some, mo mm, I'm trying to figure out how to word this, people who have jobs don't like it when they see people who don't have jobs having a better time than they do, so it, people get upset about that one, so it's quite controversial, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some homes, I mean, how much do I want to spend on building homes, let's throw an extra 10 billion into building homes, how will that help? That doesn't actually help that much. But it's a good idea. Mm. Well, okay. We won't do that on turn one. We'll save that perhaps for later. What we will do on turn one is... I'm just looking for... These are the new policies. Ah, let's try and get some science. Yeah. Science funding up to the match. I'm going to build a particle accelerator, which gets rid of our technological backwater. I'm going to... Oh, no. We can't invest in state schools. We've not got enough points. We've got five points. Let's do an environmental thing. Telecommunication initiative, so that's people working on their computer from home, which is, is obviously very nice. Very nice. Alright, we've got a decision. There have been calls to increase the availability of information held on databases about citizens without their knowledge. I think we should propose the Freedom Act, just in general. I think being free is generally a good thing to have. Now, organised crime, I'm not a big fan of this. I dislike crime. I particularly dislike it. Well, I don't know, I say I dislike crime. It depends what you count as crime. I dislike violent crime. I'm not too bothered about people not paying their TV licences. I mean, varying degrees of crime. Hmm. Right, so let's do something to get rid of the crime. The organised crime. Let's have a witness exchange programme. I'll help with organised crime. And our core vote as the Labour Party is obviously the Socialists. I keep saying obviously, I'm not going to say it again, I promise. Um, so we need to appeal to them, I suppose. Did they like the food stamps? They did like the food stamps. They suspected they'd like the food stamps. We are going to do have to have a cabinet reshuffle at some point, because I remember this woman always gets across me, because she's a conservative and a capitalist, yet somehow she's the Labour welfare. I mean, if I, I might just fire her right now and replace her. So who can we replace? Welfare, environmentalist commuter, perfect, right. Yeah, she's not a great person to have in the cabinet, and she always causes problems later on. So you're all right, you're all right. You should be okay. Oh, yeah, you're, you're going to struggle. You'll be alright, you'll be alright, and you'll be alright. So, let's replace him. And replace him with a conservative trade unionist, and not an environmental capitalist. A farmer and a liberal, here we go. So, we've got a very diverse shadow cap. Well, to say diverse, we've got a very diverse as far as women and men. But then, as far as... Um, ethnic minorities we've got like none, so I mean I don't suppose that really matters as long as they're a good quality of candidate. So it would be nice to have some representation. Oh well, right. Organised crime not had an effect yet. Science doing pretty well. Right, we'll change creation of inverse evolutionism at some point. But not yet. I think what we need to do right now is give every single student a laptop. I think that would help. Obviously there's young labour we are big fans of giving students laptops. In fact, giving students anything we're big fans of. Let's have Keep the Country Tidy campaign, because that improves the, well, it increases the amount of environmentalists in, this, in the country, and I will be doing things to help the environment. I will oppose fracking if it comes up, and it, it does sometimes come up. Debt collection agencies. Do we want Wonga to break people's legs? No, I'm not a fan of Wonga breaking people's legs as a general rule. It's not something I am for. In fact, you could even argue I was against Wonga breaking... In fact, I'm just against Wonga. Just shut the whole damn thing down. Nationalise it. Is there an option in this? Can we just nationalise Wonga? Alright, do you want to do some environmental things? I feel like environmental... Well, I don't know, actually. We've still got some big social problems. Social, environmental, economical, technological. I think social problems need to take a priority. Unfortunately, I'd rather help the environment, but you can't help the environment while people are starving. We well, can, but... I don't know, I think, I think people... Start. 
Rent controls! There you go. Ah, screw you, private landlords. Homelessness has started to come down. That's a success. Labour laws. Without the U. I don't know why it's without the U. American game, I think. Uh, technological backwalker. Going fine. Backwalker. Uh, uncompetitive economy. Right, there are things we can do about the economy. Right, do you want to raise the alcohol law? I don't really want... Mm. See, I, I wouldn't rate, I wouldn't change the alcohol law as far as minimum age. Da, 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 da. Well, if I was to change the alcohol law in real life, what I'd do is I'd, I'd make it like the cigarettes law, where we have to put like people dying on the packet. Because to be honest, like the famous grouse, for example, has a picture of a really nice picture of a grouse, which I think would would encourage people to um, buy it more than a picture of a dead body. So if I was going to change the alcohol law, I'd like the option to put dead bodies on beer cans. But as that's not an option, we're going to put strong restrictions on alcohol, and I don't think we have enough for anything. Oh, we do! We can have a carpooling campaign. That should be cheap as chips. That's probably even cheaper than chips. We have a superhero, some bunny man of some description, which is both good and bad, because of course it's good because crime goes down. Whereas it's bad because it means the citizens are taking the law into their own hands, which is never really good, I would argue. I mean, watching Spider-Man, you will sort of wonder why they're all so against Spider-Man in the police force. But then if you think about citizens enforcing laws, and it wouldn't really go down very well, because everyone would then be doing their own separate set of sort of morals. Because what if I thought, like, smoking in bars is totally okay? But then my friend Greg thought it should be punishable by death. He goes out killing people. I go out trying to defend those people. And next thing you know, me and my friend Gre uh, Jeff, uh, what was his name? Me and my friend Generic Name are uh, suddenly in a fight to the death over something really trivial. And I just don't think that's a great idea. It's not a great way to start your career as a crime-fighting vigilante is to get into a fight with another crime-fighting vigilante. So, what I think, needle exchange program? <laughs> It wasn't very popular in the 70s or 80s or wherever it was, but I think it's quite a good idea. Uh, adult education. Free school meals. Aha! One of the only things the coalition government did that I agreed with. Um, and Tories, I think, are going to take that away as well, which I think is a massive shame. Homelessness. Pretty much leveling out. More welfare. No. Well, disability benefit. Be quite good. I mean, I think the disability benefit in real life is either 12 billion or 6 billion. I remember it's one of it's a denomination of six, but on this it only it's caps out at 2 billion. Welfare fraud? I don't know. I'm not too bothered about welfare. F well, I don't know. Welfare fraud's not great though, is it? Bigger issues. Tourism. I could have visit Lancashire or visit Britain, I suppose. I mean, to be honest, I think if you wanted to do a Visit Britain campaign, you just go to America and show them all Downton Abbey, and just convince them that's what it still was like, and the National Trust um, revenue would go up tenfold, because all the Americans would go over to like Downton Abbey-esque places to see all the um, Downton Abbey-esque things. I think that's quite a good idea, yeah, let's do that, I'm up for that. I managed to talk myself into doing a Downton Abbey-themed tourism ad to the Americans. Right, let's do some environmental policies. So we're gonna do some fuel things to stop Volkswagen screwing everyone over. Uh, I think we're out of points actually. Yeah, we've got one point. Right, let's skip next turn. Power lines. They're protesting against power lines through their village. Let's stop the construction and build them underground. I am a benevolent dictator. A benevolent elected official, I should say. How's the economy going? Right. What's the really good one for the economy? There is one that's really good for the economy. Oh yeah, here we go. Government subsidies for unions. We're going to give a billion to the unions. Socialism goes up massively. Wages go up. And of course, yeah, I think that'd be quite a good idea. I think the unions could do with some support. Let's have a cycling campaign as well. I think that was in the Green Manifesto to have a cycling campaign. Just, oh. Apparently cycling campaigns wreck the economy. 
Well, I suppose you could probably crash the cycling market. Oh no, you couldn't. It would cre increase demand, wouldn't it? Well, if it increased demand and the price of bikes went up, and then that caused some people to be who otherwise would spend their income to not spend their income, and then the bike shop went bust, and then it caused a knock-on effect to more places not being able to buy. Yeah, it could cause a recession. Right, I think we managed to cause a recession with that bike thing crash. Cycling. Technological backwalk is going away though, so it doesn't matter because we'll be able to have space bikes soon. And that will bring the economy back into line. The economy is mental. If, if anyone ha ha knows anything about the economy, the economy is just mental. Don't try and understand the economy. Um, Productivity. Shall we get rid of it? I remember that maternity leave in this game is really bad for the economy. But then again, I think... Yeah. I mean... What I would do about maternity leave being bad for the economy is I would, I would have maternity leave be equal to paternity leave. Because the way uh, employers, um, what's the word, get around maternity leave is you just pay women less. And their logic is we pay them less, so when they take their nine months off in maternity leave, which of course not all women do, so it's not very fair, um, we'll break even. It's not very fair anyway. But that's what they sort of think. So if we may paternity leave match, it would then negate that bias against women in the labour market. Which is always good. And bicycle subsidies in an attempt to bring down the previously hiked bicycle demand. Or bring down... No. Raise the demand and raise the supply, thus negating the price loss. And also making... So the only thing that would that would be the quantity produced would go up, and the quantity distributed would go up. So the equilibrium price would stay the same, but the quantity would go up. I think, right? <laughs> um, alcohol abuse is gone. Right, there's no more alcohol abuse in Britain. Let's have a plastic bag tax. Oh no, let's have a junk food tax. Oh no, let's have micro generation grants. Oh. Uh, right, I think health food subsidies are always good. I would like to make vegetables free. And a micro generation grant. And a plastic bag tax. There you go, I managed to do all the things I listed. Alcohol abuse is over. Vigilante mobs have all gone home. I need to cough. But I'm not going to cough. I'm going to hold out until the end of the video. I'm not sure when I started. I think it's been about 15 minutes. I'm going to cough anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I have a cough. Right, let's continue. Technological backwater is slowly but surely going away. Should we have some... Mm, should we make uni free? Where's the uni free thing? Tax credits sound good, but they're not. <laughs> they're not very good. Enterprise investment scheme, I'm not sure how much... Uh, hmm. I mean, if it's a small enterprise, it'd be alright. But I don't know, because eventually it would, it would end up... I don't know. It would just be a business subsidy. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of business subsidies. Free eye tests, public libraries, tech colleges, university grants. Here we go. Generous grants to all. Everyone shall have a general National Armed Forces Week. Hmm. No, I'd rather have like a National Health Service Week or a National Anything Else Week. Just a National Public Employees Week would be better, I think. Um. Also, why is that under law and order? Tax. Don't fancy any of those. Shall we legalize marijuana? No, we've not got enough capital. Uh, political capital, I mean. Don't even get me started on actual capital. It's just so confusing. Um, trade council. Smart meter program. Eventually, if you just keep. D I mean, what I found is I just sort of randomly add things that are good for the environment and for equality and eventually it sorts itself out. Compulsory school sports. I hate school sports but then again it would be really good for people's health. 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 The health of an entire people. Social Justice Foundation. Here we go. That's a good one. Also the Youth Politics Council is quite good. That's like the Youth Parliament. Ban it! There you go. There you go. I just ban fracking. Fracking is no more. Uh, yeah, needle exchange program. That's a good one. The liberals should love me. Why do the liberals not love me? The alcohol law, right? Okay, I can understand that. CCTV cameras, yeah, I can also understand that. 
Homelessness and ghettos, right. Well, I'm sure the homelessness will eventually go away. Let's build some affordable homes at 600,000 pounds. Oh wait, no, that's a bad idea. Um, unemployment, unemployed benefit. You see, Keynesian economics dictates that if you give money to the poor, it would put more money back into the economy than by giving it to the rich. So if you actually wanted to get the economy going after an economic crash, what you really should do is hike unemployment benefit. But obviously that would be a very unpopular thing to do after an economic crash. Or in general. But it does make a lot of economic sense, or economic sense, or whatever you want to say. I get corrected either way I pronounce that word. Public libraries, or free ITS. What do we want to finish on? Or do you want to do some more transport? Do you want anti- Ah, oh, do you have a space? No, space is not, not quite, we're not quite space yet, are we? Technology grants would be quite good. Eco-home regulations. I'm out of capital. And I'm going to end it now. Oh, it's in point of US ambassador first. So do we want a patriot or an internationalist? Do we want a patriot or an internationalist? Well, I think I would much rather have... Liberals and socialists, he's popular with liberals and socialists in our society, and she'd be popular with conservatives and patriots, I think. Yeah, patriots and conservatives. I play this game a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'd much rather appeal to the liberals and the socialists, considering I am basically a liberal and a socialist. So, yeah, education's on the rise. Health is really good. Poverty is relatively low. Crime is relatively low. There's a lot of unemployment. But we'll be able to sort out in the next episode. For now, this has been Joseph on behalf of South Rebel Young Labour. Thank you very much and goodbye.